tour of the Central Valley from a very precious lot situated at 1,225 meters elevation or 4,040 feet. We're looking down on the National Stadium here about 61 stories below this special location and swinging out across the city center and looking up up towards Volcan Irazu. See the Yamatabosky is in full flower at this time. Look out towards Ocho Mogul and the route towards Contago across the Samparados and then swinging up looking up our mountainside to the east and south of this location. So a good mountain view up to Cerros de Escazú and swinging out over to look across San Antonio and out west around that corner is the airport but we don't see it from here nor do we hear it and rarely do we have a plane even visible. That's the view down to the San Antonio area and way out in the distance is Barva at our quiet countryside here and then across the valley again swinging around up to looking up towards Heredia and back to Savannah and the National Stadium. Just to give an idea here, you can see the forces now, the Yamatoboski trees are out in full flower as we swing out and look at the valley bottom here. It's a very impressive view and equally impressive the fact that you're out of the city but can easily get access to any city services. In most drives are 15 to 20 minutes time. So unlike many mountain locations. So some more details to add to the video that I didn't go into when I was up on the mountain site. Uh, for those that are not familiar with uh, what is available in the San Jose Central Valley or what is known as the GAM, General Area Metropolitano. Anyways, in this zone, uh, as I mentioned, this lot uh, is the most spectacular lot in the whole side of the valley. Uh, in that uh, it's easy access, there's no killer roads to get over. Uh, you can be 15 minutes in Escazú, 15 minutes to Savannah Park, 20 minutes to Multiplaza, about 35 minutes to the airport. Uh, easy road access to uh, get to the property. And yet it is on quite a pedestal. It's over 200 meters or well over 600 feet above the valley bottom. So therefore what's unique about the property is it puts it you know, close access to the city, but not in the city. And as you can see from the panoramic views uh, as you saw in the video, it certainly has one very spectacular view. Uh, other areas that are as high tend to be much further away from the center of the valley, and therefore much longer roads, uh, tougher access. And if you get higher, then it just plain will get colder and foggier in uh, rainy season. So there is no better location really for a luxurious executive home than on this particular lot. Uh, you know, I know this valley extremely well and there really is another one. Yes, I have a bias because we live on the property. You know, this is a farm. It is not a condominium. It is not an urban setting whatsoever. Uh, you look down and you see the um, city basically is moving up to our doorstep in essence, but it will never be here because the plan regulator or the basically the urban plan does not allow for any lots less than this 7,000 meters or one and three quarters acres. 
You cannot segregate a smaller lot there at all, uh, unless you're on a public road. Well, we're, this lot is well above a public road. There's no public road particularly close to it. Therefore, no neighbors will ever be close and encroach upon you. It will not turn into urban hell, as one might call it. Uh, so it is a rural setting, and yet uh, with all the closeness to great uh, city services. So that's what's unique. You know, the view, the access, all of this is a, a package that is really quite unusual, and hence why the price is what it is. Uh, one is commensurate with the other. Uh, we have another lot the same size without the 360 degree view, the same as this, it's a lower lot. Uh, and that one uh, is at $70 a square meter instead of $100 a square meter. But anyways, that gives you kind of an idea of what uh, our view is of the property. We live on the property ourselves. So there is a road going up to this lot that would have to be improved um, and the new gate put in. Um, but anyways, there's no public access uh, whatsoever. It's, you know, very private property uh, and will always be that way. Um, and certainly because we live here as well. So that is um, a bit about the uniqueness and the situation specific to this property that's, you know, quite unusual. And I say, really, it is one of a kind property. Uh, I could probably count on one hand how many situations are like this in the in the whole valley and pretty much most of them are already developed uh, whereas this farm has been basically left undeveloped since it was first segregated off uh, 34 years ago anyway so a, a unique opportunity for the person looking for that type of a setting uh, so it, it is you know very specific anyways that gives you some more de the details, uh, more specifics about it. I look forward to anybody uh, sending any questions, inquiries, or just simply wanting to visit and see what it's all about.